this truck is all new and it's completely different from the light duty that we introduced last year. Our customers and our competitors' customers all told us, HD customers told us, that they want their truck to look different from the light duty. They also want a truck that conveys the power that the vehicle has. And this truck can tow over 35,000 pounds and we had to show it with the exterior of the design. So the truck is bigger and it's stronger and it really conveys all the capabilities of this all new generation truck. And you see that a lot in the front end with how large the grill is to be able to cool that massive diesel engine that's available for towing and also the large lamp to provide the, the illumination that's required for our customers when they're getting to a job site or pulling the horse trailer through the dark or whatever it may be. These trucks, every one of them is built for work. Talk a little bit about the thought process behind the look of the truck itself from the front end and, uh, and maybe some of the influences that, that you guys uh, felt designing it. Sure, and actually with this front end, there's a lot of our influences come from the things that our customers use day in, day out, like heavy machinery, whether it's on a job site, or at a farm with a giant combine. And so this needs to fit in in those spots, visually and with the power that it, that it can, it can you know, convey and pull. And so it fits in but with that with some of the same shapes. And what we did is actually when we designed the front end, we started with the grill. And because of, we get from engineering exactly how big this grill has to be to be able to tow as much as we're, we're delivering, we start with the grill. And with this one, it just pushes the lamps all the way out to the corner. It stacks the lamps vertically so you can get a lot more cooling. And the other big part of the heavy duty truck is it's got to have a strong bumper. And so we designed a big one piece strong bumper that looks like you can just get the job done whenever you need it to do. And that bumper is also designed to be even more functional. So the, the lower part of it is designed that it can come off easily with fasteners that the customer can see. They're forward facing so they can take it off and install a snow plow with, with most snow plows on the, on the market without having to cut holes in their bumper or their fascia. So that once they get a brand new truck, they don't have to, to, to put a drill through it. Also, we designed it so that if you take the blade off and you're running around the arms during the year, it still looks great year round. It's tailored, it's well designed, right around those snowplow arms. So this front end makes you and your company look even better. What, uh, what was there any specific types of machines that you guys were were looking at or were inspired specifically by when designing this grill? I mean, there's a few of us that we where we live, we pass by a Caterpillar dealership every day on the way to work, and so you see those trucks coming in and out and. And you see the, the job sites that we would go and visit it, and you just you see these large excavators or um, dump trucks, and it's just like you you want to convey that type of power in the design of your HD truck. Had customers have told us they own a landscaping company, and they said if you had a bed full of mulch, you can't get in and out of the box while you're trying with these large HD trucks unless you have this corner step. It's the only way to get up and out of the box if you're pulling mulch or pulling rocks or whatever is on the back of the vehicle. And we're like, yeah, that's great. And so then we showed them, hey, what if we put a, what if we put a step up here so that if your gate's up or you're trying to get in with a fifth wheel trailer or something, we can make it even easier to get in. As the truck's gotten bigger, we want to make sure that it's even more usable than before. And so that's why with this, with this, with a bed step, you can fit two size 12 boots in here and hold 500 pounds. You can easily get up here and reach down and grab whatever you need. It's also easy to just swing your leg up over and jump inside the truck. And what's awesome about it is we decided to make it standard on every single model. You don't have to get a high price option for this. The work truck customer, the fleet customer, you get this option standard. These doors are completely unique from the light duty and that's something our customers asked. They said, hey, we don't want our heavy duty truck looking like a light duty truck. But another thing they asked for, and especially some of our fleet customers, is they said, we want a very simple, clean body size, something we can stick our graphics on. And when you have this simple clean body side, it really helps to make the truck look more modern and lift it up off the ground. You'll see that there's no, one of the things we did is there's no forward or upward facing surfaces on the body side. There's no, there's no surface here that's going to catch light that's reflected from the sun or from, out, from, uh, from lights outside. And what that does with that and this very strong chamfer going underneath, it visually lifts the truck. It makes the truck even look higher than it already is. It gives it a much more off-road, a much more capable appearance. And we thought that really tied in. We tied in nicely with the bed step and with the front bumpers and then also with these, these molding color uh, wheel-up moldings that are standard as well. A lot of our customers were asking for these because they just add even more durability to the sides of the vehicle. Now the side rails, I understand, are the same height as uh the bed rails are the same height as the last generation, is that correct? Correct. So even though the truck got bigger, we kept the bed rails the same height. And the other thing we did is we actually lowered the belt line, or the bottom of the windows, so that 
you have better visibility while you're driving the truck. If you've got a plow on the front or if you're navigating a job site or you're trying to pull your camper into a, into a camping spot, you have a better visibility you can see. And it also goes along with the mirrors that instead of some of our competitors where the mirrors attached to the post, those posts are right in your line of sight going forward. We mounted them lower so you have better visibility, not just rearward with the large mirrors, but also going forward so you know exactly where you can put the front of your truck. There's a few things with this mirror. So this mirror, I mean, it's also the only, the industry's only four bar link. And what that does is a more durable, better mirror that you can you extend it outboard and inboard. And we added task lighting here that you can see on available in certain models that provides lighting so that if you are in a spot where you have to provide the light source, if you're creating something, you can turn these lights on, you can flood it the outdoors, and you'll be able to see what you need to do at night in addition to the great headlamps in the front. And by being able to turn the mirror and move it in different directions, you're able to light up whatever you need to with those available task lights. We've also got the same trailery lights that we had on the previous generation that some of our competitors have gone to copy now, but it's something our customers just absolutely love and the fact that if you're backing up your trailer at night, getting into the campground late, you can know exactly the size of that 40-foot trailer are with those lights on the back of the mirror. You have more cooling thanks to that larger grill, but has anything changed with the hood scoop at all? Yeah, so the, like, as you see on the truck behind you, the hood scoop on our diesels is larger than it was in the previous generation to allow more cooling. And what that cooling does is allows us to get all the power out of this, out of this, trans, uh, this engine and transmission and powertrain to be able to tow even more.